All right, Bob, and our viewers, we have three videos already on this topic. However, right. this video is the mother load of them all. Of course it is. Absolutely. Right. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for details, and we'll show you five different ways to address those cramps. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. And we're talking about leg cramps here right. because they're the most common. Hamstrings and calves are probably prevalent, but you know, you get toe cramps, uh, calf or thigh cramps as right. well. Typical causes of cramps, Bob. Number one, night cramps. I don't, that's not a cause, but that's right. when they occur for a lot of people. And I don't know about you, would you say that's more than the elderly people, maybe 50 and I would over? Yes, absolutely. Um, I know myself, I get cramps when I stretch a certain way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a number of patients in the middle of the night, they are awakened right. by this painful cramps in their right. legs. And uh, of course, we talk them how to get through that. Right. Uh, also, athletes, people who exercise a lot, maybe they exercise too much, too, inten too much intensity. Uh, there, we can have some ways to deal with right. that. And uh, cramps uh, associated with fatigue. Uh, and this is like when you're maybe exercising or walking, and all of a sudden you start to feel pain associated with that. But there's something you have to know that it may not be a cramp. And people get this confused, this pain, mm -hmm. think it's a cramp, and it's actually a circulation right. problem. Should, even a test we could show you that you could try. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with number one. Now, this number one, I've kind of put a few of them together, and I'm calling it under one. Sure. Um, first of all, medications. If you're on medications or you started a new medication or you've changed something, that could lead to cramps. It's always those side effects, Brad. Yeah, exactly. So mm -hmm. you need to check with your doctor to make sure that's not a problem. Right. Uh, dehydration. How many glasses oh, of water, Bob? Right. Well, they say eight a day, but you might have to do more of that. Right. Even. Depends how big your glass is. Right. <laughs> no, I think how big you are. I think it's eight eight ounce glasses. Right. Is that kind it of depends. the general? Yeah. How much you sweat that day. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot, a lot of various factors. But s many people, I know my mother, she's in her 80s, and she does not drink no. near enough. And, she, you know, we're working on that. As you get older, I think you have less thirst. Yeah, you know, I don't know. She still drinks a lot of coffee, though. Yeah, but. she does. <laughs> that helps. Yeah, that, there's some uh, water in there. Electrolytes, uh, your diet. You know, make right. sure you're getting enough vegetables, fruits, good things like that. Or what, what do you use when I, you... Noon tablets, N-U-U-N. Yep. I actually take them before I go out and golf yep. because I often will get a... Imbalance. Yep. And so a lot helps. of perspiration. Right. Anything like that. Uh, that's always an option. And there's a lot of other uh, products right. out there that offer that electrolyte in, in tablet form. Uh, so, and again, blood flow issues in a little more detail. If you are walking and you get cramps in your calf right. or in your feet, my father had this. He always felt like his feet were cramping up. Yep. And it was a matter of blood flow circulation. They weren't cramping. They just didn't Claudication. get enough Claudication. There you go. Right. Uh, in, that could happen in the calf. Right. And possibly even a DVT. Right. Deep vein thrombrosis or uh, blood clot. So if you're like, if you dorsiflex your ankle. Yeah, yeah. Bring it this way. And squeeze on the mm. calf. And it, there's pain. That could, could be, could a, be blood, a DVT. Yeah. Nah, it may not. It may not. Uh, that's not the best test, that's, but no. it's still something you should get it checked on. Right. Exactly. All right. Let's go to number two. Let's look at those night cramps. Now, if you get a night cramp, you need to stretch the muscle to stop it. Right. So in other words, if I'm lying here and I get a cramp in my calf, and what's going to happen is my toes are going to point down, and it gets painful. So they'll either just pull your toes up this way. Sometimes you can. Right. Uh, if it's a bad cramp, you actually got to get out of bed. And get some weight on. Point it down, and then put weight right. down and stretch, stretch, stretch. And at that point... It's not fun. No, these things yeah. are very uncomfortable, right. painful. Not even uh, uncomfortable is not even good. They feel enough. like uh, you're, they're going to tear the muscle. Oh gosh! Right. Or if you get a hamstring cramp, then your knee is going to want to go this way. Right. Then you've got to try and straighten, straighten it, out. it out. 
and if you cannot do it in bed, or even if, you know, your partner in bed can grab your leg and help straighten that out, ah, there you go. Or if you're by yourself and you get up and you try to go forward, and right. when you flex forward, that'll stretch that out. So I've had a number of people, if they have calf cramps, I'll show them the wall stretch before you go to bed. Yes. Some gentle, doesn't be too aggressive, but stretch that muscle out, get relaxed. Do this one. The hamstring stretch you can do in bed, lying down, or you could do it seated like Bob yeah. doing and do the. You can well, bring it up like this. Yeah, this and is stretch. probably the easiest. Yep. 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 You really pump the heel that way. Yeah, and you'll feel those hamstrings stretch and loosen up. And hold that. You know that one's kind of hard to hold for thirty seconds, but you know try to get uh, you know five to fifteen seconds on each leg yeah, and do that do a few kind times. Of reps. Yeah. yeah, Bob, do you want to talk about? If you heat up the muscle to get circulation. Right. Before I go to bed, uh, I think it's a great time while, while, while you're watching TV mm -hmm. to go ahead and put the uh, Thermotex is what we prefer because it's deep heat. Fire infrared. Right. So how deep, Ed? 2.36 inches according to the studies. and uh, So that far yep. versus what normal heat is. Yeah, if you just get a, a regular hot pack, they're gonna just heat up the skin essentially, but not get into the muscle. Uh, you can use a regular one, because these are quite a bit more expensive. They're very pricey. Uh, but they, they do work well. Uh, yeah, uh, so one way or another, or, get some heat on you. Right, good for your back, good for your legs, good for yeah. what so ails you. Whatever muscle's the guilty one, if it's your hamstring, you know, get it under right. here, or the calf muscle, or maybe the, the quads. Um, and, you know, you're going to have it on there. If it's a far infrared run, 30 minutes at least, maybe right. 45, uh, if you have the other well, type. Well, it takes 10 minutes to warm up. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you have the other one. It's even heat, though. You interrupted me again, oh, I'm but. Sorry. Damn it, anyways. Cut, cut, yeah. cut. <laughs> Number four. Now, this one's interesting. Use apple cider vinegar. Now, this is a home remedy for the old fashioned type, but actually, uh, we have a video on this. Uh, that this is the pharmacist. Yep, and he did extensive research on uh, updated information. And if you go to Bob and Brad, and the title is Apple Cider Vinegar Used for, for Leg, leg cramps. cramps. And uh, we not only have information from that, but as well as from anecdotal evidence. Now, Chris cramps on a regular basis. Right. And he finds this to be uh, useful. And, and he, he was the last person to use it, you know, coming from a pharmacist, and he start using it, right. and it works. Um, so anyways, there's also uh, other products that have apple cider vinegar as the base that claim leg, they'll stop leg cramps sure. or cramps. And Do they work? Yeah. Oh. Actually... When he gets a cramp, as a matter of fact, just last week, he was getting leg cramps, and he, he has to get out of bed and start to stretch it. Then he takes uh, is it one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar, four ounces of water. You know, the pharmacist, you've got to be exact. And he drinks it. He says within a minute, it'll make that cramp relax. So, uh, yeah, and, you know, he's got it figured out. There's a whole thing with the nerve connection between uh, the taste and how the cramp mechanism uh, goes on. And it's a theory. It resolves he, it. Yeah, and, and uh, he's, he swears by it. It works well for him. Again, that video will go through it in detail. And number five, the last one, Bob. Now, you actually found this originally. Right. It was sent to us, actually. Uh, it comes over the counter. Okay. It's called TheraWorks and... You want to talk about the reviews, Brad? Yeah, over 3,000 reviews, four and a half stars, and four cramp relief for stopping cramps. Sure. Uh, I think so it's fair it's works helping relief. helping a lot of people, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it's, so it seems to be working. We have not actually tried it. Bob, you, you had it. Well, I had, but I don't like cramps. So. Right. So yes. it was, we, we should have gave it to Chris, but Chris right. wasn't with us at the time. Right. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's worth a try, I think. You yeah. know, it's got good reviews. It's a foam. You spray it on. Right. And you, you rub it in before you go to bed, and uh, there you go. I, I don't know. Does it smell good? I yeah, can't remember. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. So it's not going to be like one of those things that yeah. mm, it's going to be It'll a be problem. Lay, lay by you. <laughs> All right, well, good luck with those cramps. They're very painful, and we need to, as our motto says, help you feel healthy, fit, what? fit and pain-free. Is that, what is it? Healthy, fit, and pain-free. After 10 years, you'd think yeah. I'd remember that. Yeah. Take care. Good luck. <laughs>